Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. Yeah, you do. All right, what are we doing? Well, we're going to show you how masking works within Corel Video Studio. I've done something similar, but just as, just a reminder that you can do masking in Corel Video, but you will need the ultimate version because we are going to be using the Boris Graffiti filter. And what is it, what is it that I'm doing? Well, let me show you something awesome. I've got to warn you, it is awesome. Well, it wasn't that awesome, probably a little bit cheesy, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway, because you may want to use this on a project that you're working on, and masking is something very powerful tool. So let's grab that photo and drop it into our timeline. So let me change the image duration to, I don't know, five seconds should be fine. Yeah, there you go. And then I'm going to drop the Boris Graffiti filter onto my timeline. Here it is. Click and drag it onto your timeline. Double click, customs filter, advanced mode. Here we are. We are in the interface of Boris Graffiti 6.1. And what we need to do is we need to bring in the same photo again. So we're going to lay two photos on top of each other. So we got here the text track. It's highlighted in red. And then at the letter T, left click, still image. And then let's have a look at that image again. Here we go. Bring it in. So now we've got the background and the first layer, the same photo. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask out the front mountain and just look at the back mountain. And then we're going to have the word grips pop up behind the front, uh, the, the back of the, or in between the two mountains. Good Lord, I'm looking for words. <laughs> All right. Now to do that, we need to add a mask. Now in Boris Graffiti, they call it a spline media track. I call it a mask. So double, uh, just click once. And that adds in the spline track or your mask track. Your window palette should open up or your tool palette should open up. And it must be highlighted on your pen tool. So here's a little tip for you. Using your mouse wheel, it scrolls it in and out like so. And if I move the cursor to the left-hand side, it will scroll in more onto the left. And if I go to the right, it will scroll in more on the right. And that's, that's it. That's, that's the big tip I got for you. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to just mask out the top of this mount, and then it should fill it all in. So let's do that. And I'm going to do it fairly rough. Obviously, when you're doing this, take much greater care or time. I mean, you can scroll in any time you want. If you hold down your space bar, the cursor turns into a hand, and then you can move the picture again. And it's not doing that for me. Great, thanks for stuffing me up. Never mind. It just made an absolute liar out of me. Uh, who cares? I probably have no clue what I'm doing here. All right, I'm getting pretty close to the end. Like I said, I'm doing this fairly rough. All right, so here we go. So now we've created the mask. You don't need to join this. It really is irrelevant. So what we need to do now is basically add the mask to the first image or the image that we imported, not to the background. So let's close the spline media track so it just looks tidy and we're not confused. And let's open up the picture here, and then we're going to drop the spline media onto the mask track. Now, if you don't see the mask track, it's probably toggled off. So you just use this hide and unhide mask track, okay? Sometimes it may be turned off, and then you're going to go, why does mine always look different? All right, so then click and drag it onto the mask, and there you go. So now we have masked out this mountain, so we can now drop the word grips in between the two mountains. So let's do that. Let's just close this again, make it nice and tidy. Add in the vector media track. Why don't I just call it text track? I don't know. They just want to really make it difficult to understand, right? All right, so what we need to do is basically get the word grips to come popping up from between the two mounds and then, and then it'll look, look awesome like <laughs> I showed you before. So let's do that. So let's move it to the end of the timeline and then reposition the word grips. Uh, let's highlight that, that should work, yeah. Highlight the word grips. Let's close it so we're not confused. So highlight the word grips. It should be on the last keyframe and then let's just move it up so it just starts to pop up behind the mountain. I'm gonna move it a little bit because it's gonna get cut off by this little 
building here. Now, now I need to turn on this uh, motion. To go from here to here, I need an interpolation. That's how we turn on the keyframe. So highlight the last keyframe, go into your interpolation, left click, go to linear, both position X and Y, do the same thing. And if I've done this correct, it should move. There you go. All right, so all we need to do now is slot this in between the two tracks. So I just need to go between the background layer and the, the new layer that I create the mask on. So let's just do that. So I click and drag it in between these two layers, like so. And we're done. Let's play that. You know, I could have just manually used a scrubber so we're not sitting here. Let's just do that because it's going to be a lot faster, right? <laughs> <laughs> my my brain really isn't working today so there you go there that's the effect that we're after yes then I press apply and then you're good to go again I'm going to use the manual scrubber so we're not going to sit here forever looking for this word to appear and this ladies and gentlemen is how masking works within Corral Video Studio and you can do anything you know even if you have a video where you're sitting in a room and it's not actually moving just a character you can mask objects behind that character anything anything that your brain can come up with and later on probably i will show you another tutorial how you can add video on the video and mask that out as well confusing good there you go my friends masking within corral video studio and as always thanks for watching Hey guys, if you want to learn more about masking, please click the video on the left. If you want to learn how to use your audio while scrubbing, please click the video on the right. I bring out a video every week. If you want to stay up to date, please hit the subscribe button.